it's the season to get new lenses and I've got two new lenses and I want to share with you my first impressions about these two new lenses that are coming in multiple mounts. Fujifilm X mount, Nikon Z mount and also Sony E mount. So let me share with you my first impressions regarding these two new lenses. I have on the table an AF lens that I will discuss after sharing my first impressions regarding this manual focusing fast lens. So this lens it's a 50mm f1.2 manual focusing lens and it's looking stunning. It's made by Artra Lab and it's the Nocti 50mm f1.2. Uh, lens that it's inspired from the Nikon 58mm f1.2 SLR dedicated lens. So what should you know about this lens? First of all, I'm really amazed and really impressed with the build quality of this lens. It is stunning build, like a Voigtlander premium lens. It is an amazing build, fully metal. Now regarding the weight, it is around 500 grams, but is not feeling heavy in hand and also mounted on my camera. So I'm really, really impressed with this lens because it the weight it's very well distributed it's not making from your camera a heavy camera and i really was amazed i've expected to be pretty hard and uh, to not invite me to pick it up but no for the moment i'm really liking it because the next thing that distract me it is the manual focusing ring it is so so smooth extremely smooth and it's wow wow it is amazing to use the manual focusing ring. I think it is one of my best lenses regarding manual focusing. And I've used a lot of premium lenses and also a lot of budget lenses. And wow, regarding the smoothness of the manual focusing ring, amazing. Also the lens has a lens cap, metal lens cap that it's unscrewing using this little screw so i'm really liking the lens cap also the interior of the lens cap has a matte black close to it so it will do a really great job regarding lens flare and i've tested a little this lens regarding the lens flare and it's keeping up pretty pretty well my version of this nocti 50 mm f1.2 it's a full frame Sony E mount version. So you can use this lens on Sony full frame, on Sony APS-C, on Nikon full frame and Nikon APS-C, but also you have the Z mount, but also you have the XF mount, so a Fujifilm X mount, and the 50 mm f1.2 Nocti, it will become a 75 mm f1.2 lens. Now I need to shoot this lens more before telling you my impressions regarding build quality but I want to add another tidbit here that impressed me is that you have a real infinity point. So I've tested this lens at f8 and also at f1.2 at infinity and it was good. So really loving that you have a true infinity point. Also I would add the aperture ring and the aperture clicks are nice and you can't bump by mistake the aperture ring. And again, the big advantage of this lens, I think it is the manual focusing ring with this uh, ribs. It is so easy to focus and it's so easy to maneuver it. And it's a pleasure. It's a real, real pleasure. I can't stop using it and I can't wait to go outside and take some pictures. So beautiful build, a new lens from Artra Lab Nocti 50 mm f1.2 that I will test it on my Sony full frame and I will come back with a review. So subscribe to see that review. Now the next lens, it's a Fujifilm lens that has the X mount on it and also it will be available for Sony E mount and also for Nikon Z mount. So a great lens, especially I think for Sony and Nikon Z and it's discussable if we needed this lens on Fujifilm system. So this lens it is the 35mm f1.7 Viltrox lens. It's a new launch lens that I've used it a little in street photography by night and also in daylight shooting and I will post soon my review about this lens. But for the moment I want to show you how this lens is looking on X-T50 and uh, it's looking very good on XT50. You have almost matching colors. The Viltrox lens, it is made from plastic. You have a USB-C so you can update the 
firmware of this lens, it is focusing pretty fast and pretty good in AFS and also in AFC, I need to test it more to make a definitive review. It's not as fast as the 35 meters F2, I would say, but I think via firmware future updates, it will get there because in general, the Viltrox lenses are pretty fast. Also, it is interesting to compare this lens to the 35 meters F2 to Fujifilm lens and also to the 35mm f1.4 magic Fujifilm lens. So we have lots of options on Fujifilm regarding the 35mm field of view. Now I've used this lens also on my Fujifilm X Pro 3 and I was really amazed how the AF worked, AFS, very good and very good results and I will post some little pictures from there to there made with this lens and X Pro 3 because I've got the chance to use it on X Pro 3. The lens is sharp, the bokeh is nice and the colors are also nice and what I like on X Pro 3 because this lens it is very light, the package with X Pro 3 it is very light and very portable, also the frame lines aren't blocked by this lens from Viltrox. So perfect match for X Pro C and also a perfect match for X-T50 but also for X-T5. So any Fujifilm camera like XM5 if you want a light package. Now let's look a little at these lenses. The Viltrox 35mm f1.7, the Fujifilm 35mm f1.4 and Fujifilm 35mm f2. Two. They have similar size and weight. So let's look on the table. We have here the 35 minutes F2. I think it is the smallest one. And Viltrox, it is as big regarding diameter size as the 35 minutes F1.4 lens. But regarding weight, I think they are similar. I need to weight them and to look at the specs. But I feel that Viltrox it is pretty, pretty light. Overall, I think it will be a hard decision. We must look at the prices to see what lens we must get. Next, what Viltrox doesn't have, it is an aperture ring. But overall, I'm really liking this Viltrox and I will do an in-depth comparison when I will have time between these three lenses and when I will review the 35 meters Viltrox f1.7 lens. So I think this Viltrox 35 minutes f1.7 has a chance to win a potential buyer for the 35 minutes f1.4 because you get a new lens with modern AF motors with an aperture very close to f1.4 and with a new design and a little lighter. And also it's not with a silt like the 35 minutes f1.4. So I think the direct competitor of Viltrox, it is the 35 minutes f1.4 and probably it will be a choice for some users regarding price. Overall, I've really enjoyed to use Viltrox 35 minutes f1.7 on Fujifilm X Pro 3. It was a real joy to use. I don't know why, again, the package, it is very light because the lens is light, the camera is not balancing in front. And this means I was able to carry the camera on me with a strap on my neck and it didn't disturb me at all. Also, it was very easy and it's easy to maneuver the camera and lens. So the pair, it's really, really good. It's really good. It's a little better, I would say, compared to 35 meters f1.4 or even 35 meters f2 because those lenses have a little more extra weight to them and they are inclining the weight balance in front of the camera. So anyway, I need to make more pictures and to see the image quality and how it compares to the 35 millimeters f2 and how it compares to the 35 millimeters f1.4. So in conclusion, these are my two new lenses and I'm really loving them for the moment. I'm really excited to go out there and shoot with them with the Nocti 50 millimeters f1.2. I think I would have been more thrilled if I would have had Nikon ZF and to shoot Nocti on Nikon ZF. I'm thinking about that Nikon ZF. I'm not yet decided, but also, also I'm thinking if I would have had also the XF mount to use Nocti on X Pro 3, I think they are making a great pair, a really great pair because Yes, the lens, it is amazing build. The lens, it's inviting you to shoot it up. Also, on the other hand, I'm also thrilled to shoot 
Viltrox 35 meter f1.7 because it's making for my Fujifilm X Pro C and as a Fujifilm Kevas, very light and easy to take with me. So please stay tuned when I will publish those reviews. Till then, please subscribe now, now to my channel, subscribe to my newsletter for more photography tips and tricks and to be announced when I will launch my 35 meters workshop. I'm working at that workshop, how to make good pictures with a 35 meter lens indifferently of what system do you use. Till then, please leave me your comments and check my next videos. Thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.